remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Surprise, 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 not. The LAPD has been accused of falsifying records wrongly identifying residents as gang members on purpose. The officers assigned to special patrols in South Los Angeles are suspected of falsifying field interview cards during stops and inputting incorrect information about those questioned in an effort to boost stop statistics. The investigation has uncovered at least one instance in which body cam footage and car recordings don't exactly match what the boys in blue were reporting. And as a result, some of the officers accused of falsifying records have been removed from active duty. An officer's integrity must be absolute, Police Chief Michael Moore said with a straight face in a statement. <laughs> there is no place in the department for any individual who would purposely falsify information on a department report. <laughs> Family. <laughs> he had to make that statement and send it off. He could not have done that live with a straight face. I know he would have just felt like gut busting, rolling on the ground laughing because I know he don't believe that himself. So what got them busted? Early last year, the LAPD informed a San Fernando Valley resident that her son had been identified as a gang member. Believing the accusation to be untrue, she reported the misunderstanding to the supervisor at the local police station. That supervisor then reviewed body cam footage and other gathered information and concluded that, yep, Something in the water wasn't clean. The son was then removed from the documentation identifying him as a gang member. Then afterwards, the LAPD launched an investigation into the actions of the officers involved. The LAPD said in a statement, over the course of several months, internal affairs investigators have continued their investigation resulting in identifying additional inaccuracies and the documentation on field interview cards completed by those officers as well as others. Given the serious nature of the alleged misconduct, all involved officers have been assigned to inactive duty or removed from the field. This revelation comes as no surprise because the LAPD stops black drivers at a rate five times their population. But what it does do is put everybody on notice, actually reminds everyone how important police reform is. It's bad. It's really bad when you have correctional officers who are in gangs being hired to protect people in prison who are gang affiliated. You don't think that the LAPD are hiring gang members? Perhaps that's why they can't stop the gang activity? You better believe they're hiring gang members. They've been doing it for decades. That's why it's not going to stop. All of the corruption that you hear about, that you see, it starts at the top. That's why they can't stop it and they don't want to stop it. If they stopped the gang activity and everything was cool, they didn't have all the violence, the killings, the beatings, the stabbings, the drug dealing, they couldn't make any money on the side. They couldn't shake anybody down. They couldn't extort anyone. They got to keep it going. That's the game. That's the hustle. You know, like, 
they can try to do the straight and narrow and make that, what is it, 55, 65, 70, whatever it is a year, depending on what level they're on. They can get that. Or they can double down, triple down. You know, go in and get it all. Get as much as they want. As, as, as much as they can steal, as much as they can cheat, as much as they can beat the steel system, as much as they can steal from the, from the evidence room. You seeing all these police officers out here buying jet skis and boats? You think they earn that money off of a police salary and working gigs overtime? Homie don't think so. They said that all of the officers involved were either signed to an active duty or fired. Signed to an active duty. Every last one of them should have been fired. This is not only grounds for dismissal. They should also be prosecuted every last one of them and they should go to jail that's why you need those reform DAs like the one out there in Philly you don't need that we're going to need a whole lot more of them we're talking hundreds more of them so they can lock every one of them up no more talk what the haters talking about? Yeah.